Now, suppose uh, it is given that, suppose it is given that let uh, x and y be two independent two independent Poisson random variate per job derivate. Uh, that means here we are using so x has some Poisson distribution with parameter lambda one and y has some Poisson distribution with parameter lambda two and also x and y are independent that we are assuming here independent. So, find the probability mass function of j is equal to x plus y. Suppose you are uh, there x is a number of accident in a city some city 1 and uh, suppose number of accident in some Chennai and y is the number of accident in Mumbai. So, then uh, if you want to find the combinedly what will be the number of accident uh, in both the cities, both the places, then what will be the probability mass function, what will be the probability. So, then in that case we have to find the probability mass function of z, probability of z small z. So, this is nothing but probability of z equal to small z. Now, what will be range of this random variable, range of the random variable r z, this will be c range of x is x is the number of accident for Poisson random variable this is 0 1 2 like this and range of y is nothing but 0 1 2 like this. Then range of z will be so because you are a number of accident it will be at this is also 0 it can be possible 1 like this this is also will be range, but we do not know what will be the distribution how uh, so that is why we want to find it the probability mass function. So now if you put what is the probability of z is equal to 0 what will be the probability that j is equal to z is equal to 0. So, this probability is nothing but see that probability is x also x plus y will be 0 because z is equal to x plus y. Now, when it will be because minimum value x can take 0. So, then x plus y is 0 is only possible that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 and because they are independent random variable this is it we can multiply we know that the definition of a independent uh, the in the, a definition of the independent events because it is one events and we are writing this comma another events. So, it will be more uh, it will be more clearly discussed when we will discuss bivariate random variable, but you can consider like this is event A, this is event B and this comma means it is nothing but A intersection B. We are talking about probability of A into probability of b probability of a intersection b is nothing but probability of a into probability of b. So, that here we are also using this property. So, this is nothing but x equal to 0 into probability of y is equal to 0. Now, it probability of x is equal to 0 is e to the power of minus lambda 1 probability of y is equal to 0 is e to the power of minus lambda 2 this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So, this is the probability. Now, uh, if you consider what is probability of z is equal to 1. So, probability of z is equal to 1 it is nothing but probability x is equal to x plus y is equal to 1. Now, how what are the possibility that x plus y can be 1? So, that see x and y what can be the values of x and y this is 1. Suppose it is 1 then it has to be 0. Uh, if it is 0 then this has to be 1 and any other value it is not possible to sum to 1. So, that is why this is nothing but possibility that x equal to 1 possibility that x equal to 0 and also y is equal to 1 plus because these are mutually exclusive event this is one event this is another event that it is is equal to 1 total number. So, this is nothing but probably that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So, then uh, it is a uh, it is independent concept again we will use x is equal to 0 into probability of y is equal to 1 because they are independent plus probably that x is equal to 1 into probability of y is equal to 0. So, then how we will find this is e to the power of minus lambda 1 and this is e to the power of minus lambda 2 into lambda 2 and again plus uh, e to the power of uh, e to the power of minus uh, lambda 1 into lambda 1 into e to the power of minus lambda 2. So, here you can see that uh, what we are getting finally, this is equal to probability that z is equal to 1. 
So, this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2, this is lambda 1 plus e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2, lambda 2. So, here you can see that. So, this is e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2, lambda 2, this is minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2, lambda 1. So, that I have written here. So, then if you take common here, e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 into lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So, that is probability of z equal to 1. So, so by computing this, we got some kind of pattern that how this probability we can compute. So, basically in general if you write probability that what will be z equal to some small z, z can be 0, 1, 2, 3 anything, this is not nothing but we have to find probability that x plus y is equal to z. Now, this probability how can we can find? So, it can be possibility is x, y. So, this z if x is 0, uh, y has to be uh, y has to be z because total is z. Now, if x is equal to 1, then this value has to be z minus 1. Like this, it can go up to z and this uh, this will go, if it is z, then this is 0. So, we can write this probability is nothing but, so summation of uh, probability that x is, is equal to r, r can be 0, 1 to z and y can be, y can be z minus r, z minus r and r is equal to uh, 0 to z. So, see that x can be r comma, comma mean intersection that both it has to be happened and y is equal to z minus r. So, then this is this is co considering all this event here. So, x is equal to 0, uh, y is equal to z, x is equal to 1, y is equal to z minus 1 like this x is equal to z, y is equal to z minus because r is 0 to z. Now, this can be represented as, so see, see that summation r is equal to 0 to z uh, probably x is equal to r uh, because they are independent. In the indip, uh, independent random variable and probability of y is equal to z minus r. Now, uh, if you can uh, we, we just simplify these things, this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda 1 or lambda 1 to the power r by r factorial, this is e to the power of minus lambda 2 or lambda 2 to the power z minus r by z minus r factorial. So, then if you uh, combine, if you write, see that if you simplify this thing, it is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So, it is outside this e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2. And then it is uh, lambda 1 to the r, lambda 2 to the power z minus r, and also uh, it is r factorial, z minus r factorial. Now, if you uh, see that r plus z minus r is z, so I just want to uh, divide by z factorial and I multiply by z factorial in this summation. 0 to z, this is z factorial by r factorial, z minus r factorial, then lambda 1 to the power r and lambda 2 to the power z minus r. So, this has some kind of special form. So, we know that uh, this binomial expansion we discussed earlier, a plus b whole to the power some m. So, this is nothing but some k is equal to 0 to m, uh, m c k, uh, a to the power k, uh, a to the power of k and and uh, b to the power of m minus k. This is the binomial expansion we already discussed earlier. So, uh, in this uh, in the in the previous things you can see that probability of z is equal to z, probability of z is equal to small z, what we are finding? We found this e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 by small z factorial. Then this summation, summation r is equal to 0 to uh, 0 to uh, small z r is equal to 0 to small z. So, 0 to small z uh, this these things it can be written as z factorial by z c r. So, z c r uh, then uh, then lambda 1 to the power r lambda 1 to the power r and lambda 2 to the power uh, m uh, z minus r. So, this is you can see that z minus r. So, then if you can compare this to with this. So, this is the power minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 by z factorial and this is nothing but if you uh, if, if you compare with this, this is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 because a is lambda 1, b is lambda 2 if you compare then lambda 1 plus lambda 2 to the power z. So, this probability mass function of z p z z it is given by this is probability that z is equal to z, this is nothing but we can write it to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2 whole to the power z by z factorial, whenever z is nothing but 0, 1, 2 like this and this is equal to 0 
otherwise otherwise see that it is it has some similar form probability mass function of the Poisson distribution with parameter. So, hence z is equal to x plus y has a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So, if any problem it is numerical problem it is given that suppose independent Poisson random variable are there related to that. So, then you can use this concept. So, here let us see some problem. Let us consider this numerical problem. Suppose that a number of telephone calls, suppose suppose that uh, the number of number of telephone calls telephone calls coming coming into a telephone exchange exchange between 10 am and 11 am 11 am uh, LMA say x 1 is a random variable x 1 is a random variable with uh, with Poisson distribution random variable with Poisson distribution with Poisson distribution with parameter 2. So, here actually what we discussed lambda 1 this is nothing but Poisson distribution with parameter 2. Similarly, the number of calls similarly the number of calls arriving number of calls arriving arriving between 11 am and 12 noon say x 2 has a Poisson distribution Poisson distribution with parameter with parameter 6. So, lambda 2 equal to 6 here 6. If if x 1 and x 2 x 1 and x 2 are independent what is the probability what is the probability that more than 5 calls more than 5 calls come in between in between 10 am and 12 noon in between 10 am and 12 noon okay so let us uh, go through this problem again Suppose that the number of telephone calls coming into telephone exchange between 10 to 11. So, basically if you consider this time like this 0 1 like this suppose this is 10, 11, 12 ok. So, between 10 to 11 it is random variable x 1 number of telephone coming between 10 to 11 Poisson distribution with parameter lambda 1 
and lambda 1 is given to and in this uh, in this range between uh, 11 and 12 this is Poisson distribution with parameter lambda 2 x to lambda 2 equal to 6 this is Poisson distribution x 2 has Poisson distribution with parameter lambda 2. So, here lambda 2 is equal to 2 it is given with the parameter lambda 1 lambda 2. If x 1 and x 2 are independent, so independent it is required because we uh, you can see that before we found that j is equal to x plus y. So, here what is it, it is asked if x 1 and x 2 are independent what is the probability that more than 5 calls come in between 10 n and 12 f. So, if you if you want to find the number of telephone calls between 10 and 12 12 noon. So, that means it is the total number of calls x 1 plus x 2. So, that means we have to consider this random variable z. We know that x 1 plus x 2 because they are independent it has Poisson distribution with parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So, this lambda is equal to lambda 1 plus lambda 2 what is that? Now we know that lambda 1 is equal to 2 plus lambda 2 is equal to 6. So, this is nothing but 8. So, uh, this Poisson distribution now we know that z has Poisson distribution with parameter uh, 6. Po, so, 6 plus 2 8 sorry lambda 1 plus lambda 2 it is lambda 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 8. So, Poisson distribution so probably that z is equal to z we, we know now it is nothing but it is nothing but e to the power of minus uh, e to the power of minus uh, lambda uh, lambda to the power uh, z by z factorial whenever z is equal to 0 1 2 and it is equal to 0 otherwise. What is lambda here? Lambda here equal to 8. So, then it is known now we can ask any probability now. So, this probability is that what is the probability that more than 5 call comes in between 10 and 12 noon. More than 5 call how we will find? This is probability that z less than equal to 5. So, more than no it is asked probability more than 5. So, it is more than 5 means let is strictly greater than 5. So, that is nothing but strictly greater than 5. So, which is nothing but 1 minus complement or that z less than equal to 5. So, how we will find that? This is how we can find probability that z less than equal to 5. This is nothing but summation of z small z is equal to 0 to 5 e to the power of minus lambda is here 8. So, 8 to the power of z small z by z factorial. So, this is nothing but this. So, this is e to the power of minus 8. So, then you have to numerically you have to add 8 to the power 0 is 1 plus this is 8 plus 8 square by 2 factorial plus 8 cube by 3 factorial plus 8 to the power 4 by 4 factorial plus 8 to the power 5 by 5 factorial. So, then you have to find this sum. So, then e to the power minus 8 into this. So, this sum you have to numerically you have to solve it. So, So, this value actually uh, nothing but uh, you can check that you calculator you can use calculator this value is nothing but 0 0.8. So, this 0 0.1912. So, this is 1912. So, this is this value. So, now probability that uh, z greater than 5 this is the question this is 1 minus probability that z less than equal to 5 this is 1 minus z less than equal to 5 is uh, 0 0.1912. So, this is you can simplify these things this is coming 0 0.8088. So, this is the one use of this concept the sum of this Poisson random variable. So, let us uh, I have I hope you are uh, you have understood these things. So, now we will just, just do another problem in on Poisson distributions let us uh, discuss this. So, suppose it is asked that uh, x and y independent Poisson random variable. So, suppose let let x and y be independent Poisson random variable with with parameter lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively. Suppose it is asked that find probability that x is equal to y. So, how we can find that? 
So, uh, like we could find the uh, joint distribution like uh, sorry uh, y probability of z is equal to uh, probability mass function of z where z is equal to x plus y. But here it is asked what is the probability of x is equal to y because they are independent. So, let us find out that using this uh, independence we can use this. Uh, so, now what will be the probability? Probability of x is equal to y. So, that means uh, this is nothing but uh, the how x is equal to y. So, x and y if it is taking some value r then it is also has to be taking r. So, this is nothing but summation that r is equal to 0 to infinity probability that x is equal to r comma y is equal to r because uh, it is also comma means intersection both has to be uh, same that is the probability that x is equal to y. So, then we, we can find out this value. So, now uh, uh, because they are independently distributed random variable this is nothing but the intersection this is nothing but summation r is equal to 0 to infinity probably that x is equal to r into probably that y is equal to r. So, now we know that because they are uh, uh, this is uh, Poisson random variable. So, we as you, we have several time we have wrote written the probability mass function. So, it is nothing but the power of minus lambda 1 lambda 1 to the power r by r factorial e to the power of minus lambda 2 lambda 2 to the power r by r factorial. So, this is the so now this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 summation r is equal to 0 to infinity lambda 1 lambda 2 whole to the power r by uh, r factorial square r factorial square because it is r factorial into r factorial r factorial square it is coming. So, lambda 1 lambda 2 whole to the power r by r factorial square. So, now uh, this is uh, we cannot more we cannot simplify this we do not have any uh, any other but it will be a convergent series that we can say because uh, see that uh, this is less than equal to uh, basically 1 it will be you can see that. So, now from because it will be less than equal to if you take 1 of the value because it is multiplying with the some probability which is less than uh, 1. So, that is why if you multiply uh, because it is less than equal to sum of r equal to 0 to infinity 1 of the value probability of x equal to r. So, this is actually less than equal to 1. So, that is why it will be convergent, but the value of the convergence what is the value we will get that we do we cannot find uh, like uh, that we have to keep as it is. So, this is the final answer here. So, this is the answer of this problem. So, uh, hopefully you are following that uh, we have completed Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, some of the there how, how we can compute their mean and variances and Poisson distribution how we can compute their mean and variances their probability mass function cumulative distribution the function and their uh, graphical representations and also some of the numerical problems also we, uh, we have already solved. So, hope you have understood or you are following. So, next we will discuss uh, some other distribution. So, some continuous random variable we will discuss. So, uh, like we will start with some numer uh, uniform distribution. Now, we will discuss some of the important continuous distribution, continuous random variable. One of the uh, random variable it is known as uniform distribution. So, uniform distribution is defined on a interval. A random variable x is called a uniform random variable over a b, a and b are two real number where a is less than b. If it is its probability density function is given by f of x x is equal to 1 minus 1 by b minus a whenever a is less than x less than b. So, now you can here we can see because it is a uniform distribution. So, in a real line suppose it is a and this is b any two number a is less than b any two real number because it is uniform distribution. So, uniform distribution means it is not it is uh, like a discrete case we say uh, all point having same probability, but here because it is density it is a constant density. So, here actually so this is constant to number. So, this is nothing but some c. So, this f x of x this is constant over the region x is greater than a less than b 
because it is a continuous random variable you can write half open half closed or closed interval also this is 0 otherwise. Now, what is the values of this constant because it is a probability density function it will satisfy all the properties of the probability density function. So, because it is a uh, you know that you have already discussed it is greater than equal to 0 that is why c has to be greater than 0 otherwise it will be otherwise it is 0 so that is why and also uh, this uh, if you take the integration over uh, minus infinity to plus infinity f x x dx this should be is equal to 1 and it is actually 0 outside this interval which implies a to b f x x dx this should be is equal to 1 which implies uh, because f x x dx in this interval is nothing but a to b this is nothing but the constant dx this is equal to 1 which implies c uh, into b minus a this is equal to 1 which implies c is equal to 1 by b minus a that is why this the, a, this is a uniform distribution c has to be 1 by b minus a so this is nothing but 1 by b minus a so a random variable x is said to have continuous uniform distribution over we say some a b if the probability density function of x is given by probability density function of x is given by f of x is equal to 1 by b minus a whenever x is greater than a less than b this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, this is the uh, now this is this should be the probability density function suppose this is y axis and a and b and in a real number. So, this is the uh, probability density function this this should be the graph of the probability density function. Now, suppose you want we want to find the cumulative distribution function of this uh, random variable. So, how we can find the cumulative distribution function?